What's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here with a review of the Snow Leopard Beta. Okay, so let me get into this. Um, just to assure you guys, so you can trust me on this, I go to About This Mac version 10.6. Startup disk Snow Leopard. I'm on Snow Leopard, guys. All right. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is, as you can see now, they don't give you a hard drive disk here. There's no longer the Macintosh HD anymore. Now, when you boot up to Snow Leopard, there's just going to be a plain wallpaper, okay? It's nothing, nothing's going to um, be there. I like it, and, you know, it's just a little cool thing I added. Now, to give you my thing, a thing of this wallpaper... The wallpaper is good in a way, but then in another way, it's just weird. Like, I'm using it now on my leopard as well, but I don't know. I just sort of like the main leopard a little bit better. I'm just using the old, the new one to celebrate, like, that snow leopard's coming out. So, yeah, I, it's just a little too cartoonish for me. But besides the point, let me get on um, with this review. All right. We got everything here, the help, you know, spotlights the same, no change with that, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now let me show you what's in the dock. Obviously, we have the default dock. This is the default dock. Time Machine's on there. I don't really need Time Machine. I don't have an external drive or an internal drive, whatever you want to call it. So I won't be needing that. What back I'll replace it with screen flow. All right, so... Uh, you know, you got system preferences, and right when you get this, you're going to have two things, um, you're going to have two folders in your stack already, an applications and a document, all right? And once you download something, you're going to have a downloads tab added in there, too, but, um, so yeah. You got your trash, applications, all that stuff. So, in the applications, you know, this is the stack um, review, what it looks like. Um, I've noticed something, like, look at this little arrow right here, I stay here, I move it all the way here, the arrow moves the, to the left, move it to the um, left, it moves to the right. Now, this is the stack for you guys. It's very nice, um, I like it a lot, and the best part of it is when I click on a folder, for example, it opens up another stack, and I can go back, and now I'm in my applications again. Very cool feature, guys. All right. Another feature, it's the dock is like now very smooth, roll over. It's just really nice. The icons, I could just tell by default, are about like two times bigger, no joke. Also, when I have the selection thing out, if I go over my dock, you could actually see it, the reflection of it. It's pretty cool. The dock is way more reflective. All right, the trash, the trash looks like this. Um, obviously they changed that little icon up there, so let me empty the trash. Now for the finder review. Obviously you got this new icon down here where you could just, um, pretty much do this. Very nice feature. Um, you know, that's how, nice little animation there when you press this button. Little buggy, but hey, it's the beta. Okay, now... Let me show you something. If I go to my movies, I already made one test movie. This is something that I love this feature so much. I'm just going to zoom in right here, and now I have pretty much a big screen, sort of. That's what you want to call it. And now I'm just going to stretch this in. Watch this. As I hover over it, there's a little play button. This is a feature for QuickTime X. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Joe Gas. This is obviously a test for my Snow Leopard um, beta review, so yeah. Okay. Alright, so obviously you've just learned by that. You can now watch live videos from your Finder. Very, very insane feature, okay? It, I just got to say that. I've noticed now I'm on a different Safari. It's now called Safari 4.0.3 on Leopard is 4.0.2. This is the 64-bit Safari 4.0. So it's going to be a little different. And when I first opened it, it gave me a nice little introduction. And it's 10 times faster. I'm not even going to lie. It's just insane. I'll head over to YouTube. That's how fast it loads up. It's so sick. 
All right. Now, for example, Doc Expose is now brought into Snow Leopard. I'm just going to make a bunch of new windows. Obviously, you've now noticed when you right-click, you got this nice black display instead of the white. So I'm going to make, like, five new or four new windows. And now, if I hold down on Safari icon, look at this. I got all the windows right here now in an expose feature. The bad thing is, is you can't really quit these windows set. Like, say I hover over it and I press the delete key, it's not going to close the window. So that is just a little feature that I hope they can update. If I press quit, it obviously quits Safari altogether. Very nice feature. Um, I got options, remove from dock, open at login, show in finder. Really nice, guys. Let me show you some new wallpapers that come with this. This is the new system preferences. Nothing new to it at all, actually, except the wallpapers. Um, obviously, you got the desktop pictures over here. Nature. You now have the snow leopard, and they actually were generous enough um, to keep the old leopard wallpaper still in there. And, you know, you got a couple of very nice wallpapers. This one is new. Um, this one, um, you got, you just, you got um, some, this, now they have a snow, now they have actually a real snow leopard. That is insane. Plants, nothing new here, I don't think so. Maybe this is new, I don't know. That looks so nice. Art, uh, this is a whole new tab entirely. All this is going to be is, is like pot, um, pastel, paint drawings, black and white, abstract, patterns, which is new. You got, uh, what is that? A uh, um, headband, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And now you have just like a design. For me, I'm definitely going to choose this leopard. That is so nice right there. All those wallpapers are high definition. I don't even know what the hell kind of camera they use, but I want that thing. Look at Everything is so detailed. I mean, the wallpapers that they give you are insane. End of discussion. All right. So, guys, this has been my review of Snow Leopard. I honestly don't think there's any more to talk about. Um... I think there might be an update to the calendar. Um, there's an update to Photo Booth. It's now Photo Booth 3.0. I don't understand. I've looked into it. There's really nothing new. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think these blue lights have a little different color to them now that I'm looking at it more, but, um, you know, doesn't really make a difference here. I got the dashboard. Let me just go on System Preferences. Mouse change that and actually I like the middle button to open up dashboard alright so now I'm in my dashboard this is the default dashboard widgets so yeah guys really awesome thanks for watching please comment and subscribe and when the real snow leopard comes out I hope you definitely pick yourself up a copy buy yourself an iMac I know I'll pick myself up a copy of snow leopard too once the final version comes out so guys thanks for watching please comment and subscribe and you guys have a nice day